a day later, is it any easier? No, no. <laughs> Still stains. Yeah. Still sucks. But, you know what? Hopefully we got a little bit better from it. How, how, how was the mood, obviously, come in and the guys, did, did, do you feel like they wore the message well, you wanted it to sting, sound like you kind of gave them some words last night? I, I hope so. You know, I, I, I do. I believe in this group. I believe this group is competitive. I believe they want to win. I, I've seen it. You know, I felt it. And, uh, you know, and I understand, like I told, said last night, I understand there's some games you're going to kind of trick off or have you want to call it, you know, because everybody's in the NBA and they're talented and anything can happen on any, any given night. But I don't believe any of us, starting with me, could say we, we'd be able to look ourselves in the mirror and say we left it out on the floor last night. And, and again, that's, that's not anything to the Pistons or the job they did and, and, and Ivy and, and Monty. Uh, it's just how we feel as a team and who we think, or who we, think we are. Like uh, NBA trade deadline comes and goes, same exact group that you're going to walk in the second half with. Is there a little bit of like pressure off you guys because of that? Like where you know this is your group and who's going to be here? Uh, maybe. It might be with some guys because, you know, you know, sometimes guys want to be traded, sometimes they don't. And, but it, it's, a, it's a pain for it to happen, it, you know, and they uproot your family and your life and all that other stuff. And, and it might be, you know, a relief to, to some guys. You would have to ask them all together. I know as a as a head coach, uh, you know, you know that okay, hey, from this point forward, kind of sort of like you said, we don't. That's one less quote unquote distraction that you have to deal with. Uh, but that's part of our business, and that's a part that is unfortunate. But we have to be able to deal with it on a yearly basis. Is it, for you as a coach, does it kind of? Like this is who I've got. Like whatever it is we're going forward, I've, I've got to figure out how to get this done with this group. I, Jane, I, I really feel like that's that's my mentality anyway. Always. Yeah, yeah. That that. Um, and I and I like this group, man. And I believe in this group. I I really think this group can be special. Uh, but it's going to take all of us, starting with me, uh, more than what we brought to the table so far in, in order for that to happen. Do you uh, do you feel like on your end, uh, hindsight being 2020, you would have done anything different last night, especially in that fourth quarter? Yeah, there's a couple of things <clears throat> I, I wish I would have done different, you know, and uh, I'm not going to say anything. Sure, yeah, I got right, you. But, but, yeah, there are a couple of things that I'm like, okay, if I had that back, I should have done this. Yeah. You know, or done that. And I wonder just kind of that mentality going forward for you guys, is, is it tough to have a game like that where you don't go, all right, Maybe it's not wholesale changes, but you you look at things that you will do differently going forward. Yeah, it, it, I mean, and that that's part of it. You know, we were struggling to close out games. You know, and not that we've mastered that, but sure. we're a lot better now than what we were when we went through it. You know, initially uh, we struggled against uh, teams that played small and switch one through five, and we're a whole lot better now than what we were when it first started happening to us. And, and when I say we're, we're, I'm talking even myself, me being able to help the guys. So uh, there are strides that we've made in situations where we've hit some adversity or had some tough losses, and hopefully uh, that will continue. Coach Brown, uh, yeah, in the case of uh, Keegan, in the case of Keegan, he had a struggle a little bit. I think I had to do something with those fouls. You think those getting into foul trouble like that kind of, um, you know, mess with his psyche a little bit? Yeah, you know, he, he, he's a he's a young guy, and it, and it's tough when you get into foul trouble like that because, you know, it, it, for us, we're like, okay, well, I don't know if I quite trust him yet because he's young and he hasn't been through it and, and shown that he can not foul uh, if he has four or something like that or two in the first quarter. So we tried to leave him out there some, so he, it, it doesn't mess with his rhythm, but the reality of it is, uh, you know, when he picks up those early fouls and he's in foul trouble, it turns into a choppy game for him. And it messes with his rhythm. And usually when you're a player, and I mean, you all played on the playground, if, if your rhythm's not there, it can mess with your psyche a little bit, you know? Uh, but that's something that he's got to continue to uh, figure out. And we have to continue trying to give him, give him opportunities to show 
we can trust him when it does happen by leaving him on the floor a little bit longer so his so his rhythm is not as is, is quite off when he when he goes back. How do you feel like that foul trouble affected you guys defensively in the fourth quarter with Ivy uh, doing what he did? Uh, it, I mean, it, it it did impact us, you know, a little bit uh, because you know if Keegan wasn't in foul trouble, maybe he might be in the flow of the game a little bit better. And then at the end of the day, he's if he's not our top perimeter defender, he's definitely one of two. Um, so there's a good chance he could have been on the floor to help in that situation. But uh, it is what it is, you know. We, we roll with it, and, and you give credit to Ivy. He, he had a heck of a game, including the fourth quarter. And on the other end of the floor for Keegan, like it seems like HB has been getting more involved recently, and obviously there's only only so many shots that can go around. So how do you kind of balance getting Keegan more reps to continue getting developed and also just maintaining the flow and everybody else getting their touches? Well, so we play fast, and I don't I don't call a lot of plays, and like you said, so the play calls are limited, and we got a lot of guys that we can go to in a lot of different situations, and so uh, similar to what H did uh, at times, uh, Keegan's going to have to just be aggressive in the flow of our offense, and that doesn't mean run to the ball all the time, but the the way our guys play and the way they share the ball, <clears throat> if you move. Um, and you're in the right positions or spots, and your spacing is at a high level, uh, the synergy of the ball seems to find you. And uh, that's what's basically what basically started happening with H, and he took advantage of it. And so uh, Keegan's going to have to do that. They run the floor a little bit harder, you, you know, or a little bit faster. Uh, come fly off that DHO with almost a little bit harder and look to turn the corner. If there's nobody there, try to get to the rim to finish. If they go under, shoot it. You know, the guys can find different ways to get involved without their number call because I think they all know the way we like to play, it's free flowing, it's conceptually, and uh, there's not going to be a lot of me trying to slow it down. Hey, hey, no, 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 go to this, unless it's at the end of a, end of a, end of a game and or sometimes after dead ball situations or free throw situations, which is not a ton. Thanks, everyone. Hey, hey, Coach, all right. one last one. Uh, what's it going to be like on Sunday? Uh, are you able to watch the football game and watch your son? I'm, what's that like? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm watching it. I'm gonna have. I'm carrying my 49ers shirt with me. I will have it on, uh, and I will be into it for sure, 100%. Go Niners. Go freaking Niners. <laughs> Did I say freaking? Freaking. Yeah. Freaking. Yeah. Freaking. Yeah. freaking. Very, very TV friendly. Okay? Okay? You guys know what that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Hey, you guys too.